With more than 2 million refugees fleeing fighting in Pakistan's Swat Valley, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton came to the White House last week and announced more than $100 million in U.S. government aid. But she also urged the American people to contribute via text message. Americans can text the word SWAT, S-W-A-T, to the number 20222 and make a $5 contribution that will help the UN High Commissioner for Refugees provide tents, clothing, food, and medicine to hundreds of thousands of affected people. Donating is pretty simple. The UN High Commissioner for Refugees has partnered with almost all cell phone companies. When you go to send a text message, your provider will alert the commission and the charges will be added to your next cell phone bill. You can donate at any time and you don't have to give out any credit card information. If this new concept from the Obama administration sounds familiar, it's because the Obama presidential campaign used similar strategies. The campaign frequently asked voters to send text messages pledging to donate money or volunteer. The Obama campaign showed how you can use technology to reach so many people and get small amounts for many people. I think, you know, at the end of the day, that's actually more meaningful than getting the same amount of money from a fewer number of people. Mari Qureshi is president of Global Giving, an organization that connects donors with aid projects. She says texting is the next emerging resource for causes both in the U.S. and around the world. Right now, you know, you can text dollars to Pakistan. Pretty soon, you should be able to hear back via text as to what happened with your money. I mean, that's a logical next step. The High Commissioner for Refugees says that while the Texting for Pakistan program isn't fully up and running yet, they've already raised about $30,000. And while that bottom line is important, Clinton says it's not the only goal. Equally important is enlisting people-to-people -people diplomacy and assistance, which is something that we believe very strongly in. We don't want this just to be government to government. We want Americans uh, weighing in to try to help, and we think this uh, does that. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, Washington.